welcome to youtube channel on dr vet channel in previous video on part urine paresis and mi fever we have seen part 1 here we will see part 2 in this part 2 we will cover signs of milk fever diagnosis treatment aspect and prevention we have already seen signs of milk fever is arbitrarily divided into three stages and this stages depends on the calcium level in the serum if the more calcium level in serum goes down the stages become serious there are three stages stage 1 called the prodroma stage stage 2 sternal recumbency the animal is unable to get up and sits on sternum and even if the calcium level goes too much down too much low then the symptoms enter into stage 3 lateral recumbency the animal is unable to get up and is unable to even sit on sternum also so animal lie flat on the ground lateral recumbency in stage 1 we have seen the symptoms excitement and tetany hypersensitiveness to even normal stimuli muscular stimul especially of head and limb animal is unable to move and unable to eat food also there is protruding of tongue stiffness of hind limb the animal find difficulty in walking animal shows ataxia and because of the weakness the animal falls very easily here we will see the signs of state 2 the calcium level further go down there is sternal recumbency the animal sits on sternum with lateral kink the head is turned and rested on the flank this is called as classical mis fever posture it is very important for the diagnosis the planic classical milk fever posture is animal is unable to get up animal sits on sternum with head turned down and resting on the flank this posture is very important for the diagnosis in this stage there is no tetany but animal is unable to get up because of hypocalcemia there is great weakness the muscle become dry the temperature goes down there may be sub normal temperature the skin and extremities become cold
the pupil is dilated and pupillary light reflex decreases or absent when light is through in the eyes the pupil do not respond to light because of hypocalcemia there is great relaxation of the anus and there is loss of anal reflex there is presence of a dry dung in the rectum because of hypocalcemia there is effect on circulatory system decreased heart sound veins are difficult to raise pulse become big there is ruminal stasis atony of the rumen and animal shows expiratory grunt that suggest weakness here we will see signs of stage 3 in this case there is severe hypocalcemia the calcium level of the serum goes more down even unable animal is unable to sit on sternum animal lie down flat on the ground that is lateral recumbency depression of central nervous system manifested by coma the limbs especially hind limbs become loose flaccid animal is unable to get up the pulse impalpable heart sounds inaudible even clinician unable to raise the vein because of the ruminal stasis there is accumulation of gas in the rumen the condition is called as bloat and if timely treatment is not given there is death of the animal due to bloat also milk fever cases are observed with hypomagnesemia decreased magnesium level and hyperphosphatemia increased phosphate level if the case become more serious there is death of the animal due to respiratory failure diagnosis of milk fever history history is very much important you know that the disease occur near about parturition generally after parturition up to 72 hours so history of parturition is important for diagnosis and we have some characteristic clinical signs classical milk fever posture the animal sit down on a sternal recumbency the head is turned down and resting on the flank this classical milk fever posture 
is a diagnostic. The seriousness of the signs related with serum level of calcium, magnesium and phosphorus. More hypocalcemia, more serious symptoms. Laboratory estimation of serum level of calcium, magnesium and phosphorus. It is easy to provide diagnosis. That is hypocalcemia. Important pathological condition observed is ischemic muscle necrosis. There is degenerative pathology of the muscle. Because animals sit down constantly for a long time, there is pressure on the blood vessels and on the muscles. There is lack of oxygen in the muscle, ischemia, and that lead to macrosis of muscle. This is the important pathology, ischemic muscle necrosis. treatment very important thing here is treatment during stage 1 is ideal earlier the treatment better response longer the interval between recumbency and treatment greater the incidence of downer cow due to ischemic muscle necrosis. For a clinician, this is very much important. Earlier the treatment, better response. Delay in treatment, poor response. When animal sits down for a long time, there is ischemic muscle necrosis. And if there is ischemic muscle necrosis, the response to calcium is poor. So clinician remember early treatment better results. In these cases don't delay for the treatment. Animal is to be placed in sternal recumbency if the animal lie down on rectal recumbency. If animal lie down for a long time in lateral recumbency there is aspiration pneumonia so frequent turning of animal is required from side to side to avoid ischemic muscle necrosis and to avoid aspiration pneumonia the specific treatment is Calcium borogluconate, a short treatment. If timely treatment given, there are 100% chances of recovery. Calcium borogluconate, 50% given intravenous and 50% subcutaneous. 50% intravenous brings immediately calcium level to normal. And the rest of the 50% will slowly bring the level up when the level goes down. So remember here, calcium borogluconate, 50% intravenous, 50% subcutaneous. For dose of calcium borogluconate, requested to refer standard veterinary medicine book or pharmacology book. Clinician remember here, First, give calcium borogluconate very slowly. Otherwise, there is cardiac arrhythmia. So, first, give calcium borogluconate intravenous slowly. Then, slowly increase the flow. 
otherwise cardiac arrhythmia and animal may die if there is any adverse reaction is observed stop giving the treatment for the prevention for stoppage of such cases do not milk the animal for 6 hours because you know that the milk colostrum contain high calcium if we milk the colostrum we removing calcium from the body and it further aggravates the condition If timely treatment given, treatment is calcium therapy, calcium borogluconate. The clinician observe a classical response immediately. There is belching. Gas is coming out from the rumen. Muscle tremor. Tremors of the leg muscle then tremors of the whole body heart sound intensity is increased muscle become wet there is defecation there is firm stool with mucus animal start standing an animal stands, animal will get up, urination occur after the cow rises. If the animal do not respond for 5 to 8 hours, this animal is unable to stand up. Repeat the dose. If animal is unable to stand after 24 hours, again repeat the dose and use the hip lifters so that animal remain in a standing position. If the animal sits down for a long time, there is pressure on muscle leads to ischemic muscle necrosis and then response is poor. Few cases may not respond. There is unfavorable response to calcium therapy. And these cases manifest Cardiac arrhythmia or irregularities, heart rate increased, there is shallow respiration. Here we will see prevention. Dietary management during pregnancy and two weeks prior parturition. Remember here, feed low calcium, less than 20 gram calcium per day and a normal level of phosphorus for two weeks prior to parturition. There is common belief that if we give more calcium two weeks prior to parturition, there are less chances of milk fever cases. It is wrong. During last two weeks of parturition, feed low calcium. Avoid drastic change in the diet. Three or four days time for changing of the diet. 
dietary cation and anion difference program prevention give parental vitamin d and analog compounds vitamin d2 for 3 to 7 days antepartum before parturition vitamin d3 24 hours prior to parturition if no delivery occur at right time repeat at 24 hours interval until delivery so this is important treatment vitamin d for prevention of milk fever cases calcium gel oral dosing before calving at calving and 12 to 24 hours after calving So this calcium gel oral dosing near about parturition, and generally calcium chloride is given oral. We have observed Dr. Way channel. Requested to subscribe, share. those who want such knowledge and share this video for the service to the animals thank you very much for observing this video you will get such videos on this doctor wait channel thanks